What's up guys, I'm Tommy and welcome to another episode of Tommy's Tech Outdoors. Today I'm going to be giving you an update on my circle hatch on the back of my 2019 Hobie Outback. So stay tuned. So if you're new to my channel and you like fishing, crabbing, kayaking, boating, or just spending quality time with family and friends outdoors, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button below and clicking that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. All right guys, so it's actually raining outside right now, so I have to record in my garage. Um, just wanted to give you an update on the uh, circle hatch on the back of my 2019 Hobie Outback. Um, I got quite a few questions about it, so I wanted to address some of those for you guys. Just so you can get an idea of you know um, the dimensions and you know what you may, could do with it, because um, you may not actually need to put it back here, you know, if you don't actually need to gain access to anything. Um, but you can store some things in it, but uh, there isn't actually a whole lot of storage. So um, I'm gonna uh, show you a couple examples with my batteries and um, show you some of the measurements of the hatch. All right guys, so here's the inside of the uh, circle hatch. Uh, uh, right here it actually comes up. So it actually, in the middle, um, there's like a dip right here. So it kind of goes like that. Um, and then it actually comes up over here. And this is actually the highest point that it would be. And it does the same on both sides. So um, the deepest part, which is about right here, it's about, it's a little bit over four inches. So from here up to, uh, the top of the, um, the hatch, it's a, it's a little bit over four inches. And also on this high part right here, it's uh, just a tidge over um, uh, two and a half inches. So somebody did ask me if the bucket would fit back here. The deep bucket definitely will not fit, but the um, regular bucket, that's, I think it's like two and a half inches, that should fit. It would probably like just about hit right here. So. It should be fine. Um, actually, you might get it, you know, to give it a shot and then, you know, it would give me something that I could use to um, store stuff back here. But the um, other thing somebody asked me about is if the battery holder would fit back here. So I actually took the battery holder off of my uh, 2016. This attaches to the um, ceiling mast. And uh, I did say it wouldn't fit. But that was this way, it kind of fits perfectly this way. Um, but then, you know, I actually just saw somebody post, you know, uh, put it in actually this way. And it actually does fit this way. If you have a battery that will um, fit the um, holder exactly, it should work just fine. Um, but for me, when I bought my battery, I kind of, a little bit overkill. This is like a 14 AH. Um, this is way, way big. It's probably way more than I actually needed, but um, this will not fit. I'm just gonna show you guys. It looks kind of ridiculous, but it works fine if you put it in the uh, the front hatch on the sailing mast. But this is just a show you guys what it looks like. But if you had you know a smaller battery, maybe like a 10 AH. Um, that probably would work. Uh, so just keep um, that in mind. So the battery holder does actually fit if you were to um, install it, you know, just like this. Uh, and this is my 14 AH here. I'm gonna take this just to set it in, give you guys kind of an idea of, uh, you know, what it looks like inside. Of course you would never not to like that, but it does fit. Um, it's about, I think it was like three, see how so it's about three and five eighth inch high. And the length of it is about five and seven eighths. The actual width of it is about, it's about, three and three and seven eighths nope three and a quarter roughly three and a quarter so that's just to give you an idea and again here it is again just so you can see you know how it would fit or how it would not fit just sideways just to give you guys an idea um 
But I also recently bought a uh, Nakua battery, which these are awesome. These are so light. This thing is like a pound and a half. Um, this is a 10 AH Nakua battery. This thing fits no problem. Uh, this measures, I think it was, so the height of it is about three, I know, it's four and one eighth. And then the, uh, the width is about, it's almost three inches. With it. But uh, as you can see, it, it actually fits standing up because the fact that it um, can fit down into um, the sides here. Because um, it's not so wide as the, um, the deep cycle battery that I have. But it, uh, they do actually make a um, Nakua um, battery holder. And I think that would fit. I'm not sure because it might actually hit the sides because they actually sit like this. So. Um, actually, I think it sits this way, but they do have a uh, Nakua battery holder that actually fits right in, and then you slide, you'd actually slide two Nakua batteries um, side by side. Um, I'll try to get a picture and put that in this video. But um, yeah, I just did this quick video just to give you guys kind of an idea of what the hatch you know looks like dimension wise um it is just a regular eight inch hatch but to give you an idea of what it looks like inside of the hole all right guys so that was the uh, quick update on the circle hatch on the back of my 2019 hobie outback again if you guys have any uh, questions about it uh, please comment on the comment section below and i'll be glad to answer any of those for you if you like this video please like share and subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when i upload a new video well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.